Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Best and Slot and welcome to part 8, I believe, of the Creation Kit tutorial series. Today we're going to do something very cool. We don't do nav meshing, that's boring. Today we're going to make our very own merchant. We're going to make a vendor in the game where you control their, you know, their products and you can go and you can buy stuff off them. Now combine this with the dungeon mod or what we'll do in the future, we're going to learn how to make a house and put that in white one or something. You can basically put this vendor anywhere you want, have them make their own shop, have a little dungeon off somewhere where this merchant lives. Very cool. I've spent a long time figuring this out and it's annoy it's infuriated me to no end. So I'm glad I can actually show you guys how to do this now. As always, you want to go ahead, file, data, skyrim.esm, load that up. And now the first thing we're going to do is build the inventory that our merchant is going to sort of work off. Now you want to decide what type of merchant you want. Do you want a blacksmith? Do you want an alchemist? Do you want a general vendor like Bellafor? Today we're going to build ourselves a blacksmith because blacksmiths are cool. So what we need to do is go into world objects and container in the object window. You want to go ahead and search for merchant or merchar or something and we're basically we're just going to duplicate one of these chests and then edit it. This way it keeps the appropriate noises and various other things. And we are going to take the Merchant Solitude Blacksmith. We're going to duplicate that. And then we're going to take Merchant Solitude Blacksmith Copy 0000. Click Edit. We'll right click, click Edit. And give that a second or two. And there we go. We're going to change the ID to New Merchant Chest. The name chest you can keep as it is. And as you can see, we want to build a blacksmith. And we've already got all this blacksmith stuff kind of already here. Um, if you want to see what kind of loot they're going to have at level 30, what we do is we go down to preview level here, type 30 in, then click preview calculated result. And this is what that blacksmith will sell at level 30. If you want to change the amount of gold they have, you need to find vendor gold blacksmith. See that's got a 1 next to it. If we go and change that to say a 4, and click preview calculated result again, the gold of the blacksmith has now gone up to 4,100. 19 as opposed to the 1119 it was at earlier so it's very easy if, if you want to add an item so you just right click click new and then go into the object and say we want him to sell a if we go up to the top let's add an akaviri katana and now the blacksmith will now sell that katana the reason that's got an item sort of symbol and these all have question marks is because most of these are leveled items to an extent so it depends on your level and various other things as to what he'll sell Whereas now that we've added the katana, he will sell the katana at every level. That's all we need to do for the chest for now. We're going to click OK. This will pop up. Just click No for new form. We're editing the copy so it doesn't matter. Click No and then click Yes. And that's our chest done. Now what we're going to do is find ourselves somewhere to put this NPC. And for ease of use, we are going to stick this one in... An ex Obviously, we're going to stick him in an existing building. And I'm just going to put him in do, do, do. let's let's just let's stick them in Bellafors, why not? So we've gone to Bellafors and White Run, we've gone to our cell view, make sure you're on interiors, we've searched for White Run Bell and now we're at Bellafors shop in White Run. And we're gonna stick our NPC here. You could put this anywhere, you can put it in if you want an NPC in specific sections of the game, you just search for that area and work from where we're working now. So we've made our chest, we've added what we wanted, we've deleted what we wanted if you want to delete some stuff, and we've learned how to preview the calculated result. Now what we need to do is create a faction for our NPC that tells them... Well, actually, no, that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do first is we're going to put our chest into the game. Now, as you can see, if you look at Bellafor, there isn't a chest. You can't see a chest with his items in. That's because they'll have obscured it some way. The easiest way to do this is we're just going to go out to the void, which is this grey area. Just click your middle mouse button, push outwards, and we want to select our chest, which we called New Merchant Chest. So you want to search for that in the object window, click it, and drag it in. Just drag it into the void. I'm going to push it back a little bit, move it over there. And now that's there, and the merchant can now read from that chest without it having to clutter up the shop or get in our way. So we've got our chest over there, and now we can push on. What we are going to do is create a faction that basically makes our vendor a vendor. So what we want to do is click faction there. Let's go with the new merchant in our filter. Click faction in the character tab. Right click, click new. ID, we're going to call it new merchant faction name doesn't really matter we're going to call it new merchant 
we're going to go ahead and tick a can be owner and then we want to go and click on vendor click on the vendor tab click vendor start hours this is what time of the day will this will people in this faction basically be a vendor so we're going to say 8 a.m. till 20 which would be 8 p.m. it works on uh, military time the location you want to click edit on that and just click near self just I don't know why that works but I was messing around with other locations and none of them really wanted to work near self is good it keeps them in roughly the same area you don't need to worry about it after that um, merchant container you want to go ahead and click select reference in render window and I'll give you this little crosshair you want to zoom out and double click the chest that you've put outside the shop and that tells the merchant to read from that chest and any merchant within this faction and one more thing while we're here we have to control the vendor buy sell list so if we want our vendor to only buy and sell blacksmithing items like say um, whatever the woman is at the start Adriana at the start of uh, White Run will not buy dragon scales from you she will only buy blacksmithing items so in order to make a vendor that will do the same thing that will only buy and sell blacksmithing items we need to type in VE vendor items blacksmith and tick that and now that's what they're restricted to if you want a vendor who will buy a lot of items what we would then instead do is go to vendor items misc click that and tick not sell buy that means they are the only group of items that vendor won't sell or buy so whoever has that setting won't buy bowls and stuff like that but they'd buy blacksmithing items they'd buy alchemy items they'd buy everything else Bella Ford the general vendor in white one the one where sort of filling his shop with our vendor um, that's the setting he uses vendor items misc with not sell or buy ticked for the purposes of this we want our blacksmith to only sell blacksmithing items so we're going to go back to that and untick not sell buy and then click OK so we've made our faction we've made the chest that our faction is going to read from and we've set the location for our faction which is going to be based upon where we place the actor so there's only one thing to do we need to make the actor as always the same way we do when we've created an NPC in the past you want to go to actors click actor right click new and then it's basically the same system we've been doing all along once this loads up we're going to set the ID to new merchant actor we're going to set the name to whatever you want it to be in my case it's going to be Corinthian because again it's an amazing name we're going to tick essential and then for a race we're just going to pick whatever we can find let's just make him a high elf for the purpose of this high elf make sure you pick a default voice you need a one of the more basic voices so there is vendor dialogue for that character and then you want to go ahead and click on factions and here we need to add two factions so what we're going to do is click factions in the factions and ranks box you want to right click click new then we're going to search for new merchant click and add the faction we created a minute ago so whatever you named the faction we created that's the one you want to search for you want to add that you want to right click again click new this time we're just going to search for merchant and you want this one you want job merchant faction click OK and that is pretty much done all we need to do now and we say we don't want him naked we go ahead we click on inventory and let's give him let's give him a blades outfit because we're lovely like that again if you want a preview character just tick full here at the bottom as you can see he's now there in blade armor I'm not going to show you how to do all that you guys know how to do all this um, don't really need to worry about that and we're going to go ahead and click OK give that a second or two and now really the only thing left to do is drag our actor in so we need to search for him with his ID which is new merchant actor there it is drag him in I'll see he's a bit not quite in the right location if I can get hold of him there we go if you ever want to drop someone down to the floor or to the nearest sort of level so if hold Z, drop them down a bit, once they're lower, press F, and that'll drop them flat onto the ground, and therefore make it you know, just a bit easier. So there's our merchant, we're going to put him just there behind the counter, he might wander around a bit. But uh, he's there, beautifully. If you want him to stay in the same place, you can add an AI package to him, all you do is go to the AI, AI package section. I'll show you that actually, quickly. Edit. Do, 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 do. 
So we go to AI packages, as you can see there's none here, so we're going to find one and drag it in. So let's go to do do where's packages? Package. Again, it's character package. And once that's loaded up, you want to search for default. And all the default ones are fairly useful. So, I mean, you can see one here, eat, default eat added, eat in the morning, follow prayer, all this stuff. You don't really need to know what these do, but one we want to use is default hold position, current location. And that should hopefully keep him in roughly the same location he is. And to put that in, all we did, drag it straight in. Nice and easy. Click OK. And hopefully that vendor will actually now work in the game. We're going to go find out. We're going to check if this has worked. My God, I hope it has because I've been doing this all day already. And uh, I will see you guys in a minute. Cheers. And we are back. We are in Bella Four's general store in Whiterun. The time is 10 a.m. So if you remember the dates and times we set for the vendor to work, he should technically be up working now. Um, you remember we set a custom AI package. Well, apparently it's made him a bit of a, you know, a bit strange as he's standing there with his fists pumped. Um, just mess around with them. You, you know, you're not going to know exactly what they all are. But all I'd do now is go and swap that AA package out for another stationary one, or just get rid of them all together, let him wander around a bit. Either way, moment of truth. Let's click on Corinthian. Need something? What have you got for sale? Let's find out. Take a look. I will indeed. So, as you can see, there's the weapons. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All the stuff that's all randomly generated. All blacksmith items. And if we try to sell, as you can see, we can only sell weapons, apparel, and a couple of misc, which are the blacksmithing misc items. Wolf pets, ingots, lockpicks, and leather strips. If we'd set him to misc and then tick that little box, we'd be able to sell him any item we have. So I'm going to have to go mess around with his AA. A a a AI package a little bit, but generally speaking guys, it's that easy. You have now made a merchant. How lovely jubbly is that? Thank you for joining me. I've been best in slot. Let me know if you've got any um, queries, quandaries, and I'll try to answer them and other people will try to answer them. You've got to remember I am learning just as much as you guys. I don't know everything yet. As much as I'd love to. And I'd like you guys to tell me what you'd like to see in the next tutorial, because um, instead of sticking to my rigid kind of plan that I had, I'm kind of deviating. I want to know what you guys want to see. So if you want to see a certain aspect covered in this seat, the next Creation Kit tutorial, let me know. And whichever one's the most popular is the one I'll go for. Okay? Cheers for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, um, I don't eat. And I shall see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.